Hello my loves, it's Charlie Houston Sykes with this week's Booze and Bites. This week they're finally letting me say the C word. No, not that one. Christmas. And I've got a couple of recipes for you that will help make those winter days a little warmer. First off, I'm going to suggest that instead of a, a standard mulled wine with red wine, you actually have a look at doing one with white. Take two bottles of white wine of choice. Add about 300 millilitres of elderflower cordial. You can pick it up in most supermarkets, easy to get hold of. Then you want a little bit of sugar, about two tablespoons max, because there's quite a lot of sugar in the cordial. Then you're going to want your spices. I'd definitely go with cinnamon and cloves. I'd maybe add in something like cardamom and some citrus peel. I would, because you've got elderflower in there, use lime. Tie it in a muslin bag and put it into the liquid. So add the liquids together, put the muslin bag in and then turn on the heat, really gentle. You don't want to boil it, you just want to bring it to boiling point. Let it simmer for a bit, make sure you're happy with the taste. You can always add a bit more sugar if you want to and serve. It's a really light take on what can be quite heavy, heavy flavours. The second one I'm going to suggest to you is a bit more local. We're going to do a twist on a mulled cider. So you want about 1.1 litres of cider. Pick something pretty decent. There's loads of good ciders out there now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to add about 200 millilitres of Salford Rum's dark spiced rum. This has got burnt caramel in it, so it's going to give it a proper toffee apple sort of flavour. About the same amount of water, about 100 to 200 grams of sugar. Measure it to taste, see what you prefer. And when it comes to the spices, you can go all in. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, all those winter warmers, maybe even a slice of ginger or two. Again, muslin bag, use an old dishcloth, tea towel, whatever works, tie it in a knot, put it in, and the same method applies. Bring the heat up gently till it gets to a boil, simmer it for about five minutes and taste it. Make sure you're happy with it and then serve it. You can get loads of really good hot toddy glasses this time of year as well. And it looks so good with a stick of cinnamon as a garnish. So there you have it, two winter warmers. I know the Christmas market's not happening this year, but this is about as close as we're gonna get. And at least we don't have to stand outside in the cold. I mean, unless you want to, but personally, I'm gonna sit inside in my pajamas and drink wine. Yeah, see you next week.